Okay, let's see here. I got my immortal. I'm gonna go kill this dog here. Did it seriously? I think it switched to player zero. Okay, well anyways, I just manually attacked him. And uh, let's see if he respawns here. He should in like eight seconds more. Uh, let's hope. Yeah, there we go. He spawns. And now he's on player hostile. And I can go kill this. He's going to respawn there. And I can go kill this dog. And he should respawn there. And this dog should respawn there. And never ending process. Yep, there he respawns. And that's basically mob respawn. So um, let me just go fine tune some things and do a summary in the, in the editor here. So for some reason, whenever you place these dogs, they switch over to player zero, so just highlight them, hit enter. Actually, you only have to highlight one, it highlights them all because they're in a unit group, and then switch to player 15. For some reason, it switches them to player zero. So there we go. Um, I think it's just with critters, though. I'm not sure why. Um, so the basic thing here is that you make your, you drop your units where you want them, and of course, you get rid of this, get rid of this stupid terrain that I left here. And... Um, then you go into your object groups, you add all your mobs into different groups. The you could, I guess you could add them all into one, but I like to separate them in groups if I wanted different respawn times or something. It's just more organized. Then you go into triggers, and you make sure for each group. So say I had a second group of like cats or whatever, then I copy-paste this, pick this different group here, and then these actually would be the same. I don't have to change anything. And then in here, these don't actually have to change anything either. Um, and that's basically it. So... And of course, you give the wander ability to your mobs if you want them to wander around and make sure leash is checked. And that's basically it. So um, I hope this I hope this tutorial helps people um, make mob respawn on their RPGs because this is pretty close to what I'm using in my RPG, which is still like never going to get done. But um, yeah, I hope some people can actually make some cool RPGs with this. And um, I hope to be getting more tutorials out soon. And thanks for watching.